Welcome to the Animus. I'm Sean, your host today. You must be Aaliyah. What a beautiful name. My name is Danny Wallace and I play Sean Hastings in the Assassin's Creed games and also in this Audible project. I am Tamara Lawrence and I played Elia Khan. She's bright, she's tenacious, uh, but we meet her at a point where she's encumbered with a sort of debt that she has to pay. She has to reimburse her friend and then she gets roped quite quickly into this adventure. I'm playing uh, Isaac Newton, who is uh, Warden of the Mint, and so he's been pursuing it himself, and then suddenly he is introduced to one of the Assassin's Creed. I'm Gemma Lawrence, and I played Rose Galloway. She's a woman living in 1696. It's a time when women were just wives and daughters, really, and she hates that, and she hates the society she's in. There's lots of kind of fake money in circulation, and uh, Omar Khaled, who I play, is a blind Middle Eastern butler who's, um, you know, lived in England his whole life. They're trying to kind of unearth the conspiracy and see who's behind it. A code used amongst him and his fellow counterfeiters? That would be interesting. No, 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 they're far too difficult. Perhaps uh, measurements. One thing that people have always loved about the games is there is such depth to them. Like, the game itself is great. Action, adventure, combat. But you learn a lot as well. You can learn as much as you want from these games. Keeps you on the edge. Don't know where it's going to go next. Don't know who's a good guy, who's a bad guy. A really interesting mix of kind of real-life historical characters like Isaac Newton taking the video game elements and the Brotherhood of the Assassins and then also this kind of thriller mystery about this counterfeiting. But the events of today prove that the world's a dangerous place. One never knows who is a criminal. It makes me want to become an assassin more so than ever before. We've always loved stories which are kind of like a what if. What if, I mean this giant concept of what if you could go back through the ages. In this production, we, we get to know Sir Isaac Newton a little bit. And I think we all know a bit about Newton. And this is a chance to, again, in that great Assassin's Creed tradition, to find out a lot more. The thing that's that's great about um, audio uh, is the fact that you can go anywhere, create anything. Your senses are just more prepared for anything that's thrown at them. It's really interesting process actually I'm working on an audio drama in this way because you actually record separately from the other actors. So it's very much a process of trusting the director, our director Garrick Hagen. He's got that audio memory of what the different options the other actors gave were. It's really sort of physical world and you're having to recreate a very vivid picture for people so yeah it was just really fun. Games for me have, have been a really important part of it. It gave me a start. Whenever something comes in to do with games I always feel that um, you know it's it's a world that I know even if everything has changed. When Jared came and said he wanted to partner up with me and make it happen and help raise funds for it I believed he could. I trusted him. Perhaps the first time I've ever trusted anyone. These days we all live such busy lifestyles, right? So having an audiobook on while you're cooking or while you're on the tube is just an amazing way to, to be able to absorb that information and to go on that journey without necessarily having to stop doing you know, everything else and sit down with a book in your hands. I'd rather um, listen to an audiobook than not have books in my life at all.